Yo guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Streamlabs OBS and how to stream, how to record, and do everything like that. So let's get straight into this, guys. So before you start, first you got to go to Themes. So once you're here at Themes, you're going to want to choose a thing that, like an overlay that you guys want to see. So for example, you guys can just click on it, and it'll show you guys this. It, it shows you what's included, like stream starting soon, be right back, and all this stuff, recent follower. I already have one, so just push install overlay once you need to do that, and bam, it'll show up. Go to editor, and it'll show up like this. So once you've done that, you're going to want to click this. You're going to click on whatever you want to change in this overlay. Right click, and go down to properties. Once you've done that, you're going to want to change the text part of it, and change it to whatever you want. I've already changed it to my name, and all that stuff. It'll tell you what to put there, like this said my name, and this one said Twitter, or whatever it was. All this stuff should be set up already. So if you guys can see the properties here, if you guys want to change it, like you can change the words on here. Like I said, go to properties. And this one, you can change it to most, like mine's most recent donor, but you can change it to most recent super chatter or like monthly top super chats or whatever like that. You guys can do that. It's pretty easy, guys. It's pretty easy. So once you've done that, guys, you're going to want to set up, obviously, your webcam. You're going to want to set up your display capture and all that stuff. So to do that, you're going to want to go, I'll, I'll create a new scene. And so you're going to push this plus button. You want to go and you can pretty much add anything you want. So video capture device is a webcam. Audio input capture is a mic, but you really don't need that since it'll probably already be set up on the side here. Like if you need to change that, you can push this, go to properties and you can just change whatever microphone you need to use. Like that's my webcam. But that's not the point. So let's. I'll, I'll add the. Um, I'll add the video capture device, which is my. You can see my webcam here. So I've already showed. If you guys did not see it, I made a video on how to use the green screen in Streamlabs OBS. I'll put a link to that in the description if you guys want to uh, see that. So once you've done this, you're obviously going to want to get a background, which is your display capture. If you guys are doing a game, you can use game capture. You can just put in the whatever game you're using here and whatever but uh, it's much easier to use display capture that's what i'll be doing for this video display capture add existing source or whatever you guys have for that and yours will probably you, yours you guys will you okay yours will fit obviously mine doesn't right now you guys can see my webcam has disappeared make sure your, your display capture is all the way at the bottom every single time so under the webcam want this like this perfect go to settings so this is how you're going to stream, how you're going to um, pretty much do everything through Streamlabs OBS. It's all through here. So first of all, you're not going to really have to change anything on the first part right here. You're going to want to go to stream here. If you guys are streaming, of course. If you're not streaming, you're just recording. Um, I'll show you guys that in a second. But if you're streaming, um, stream type, just make sure you're on streaming services, right? Service, YouTube Gaming, or you can change it to whatever, whatever you're doing it on. It's either YouTube or Twitch usually. So go to the primary ingest server for YouTube and in Twitch. And then to stream key, it's really easy. You just gotta go to your YouTube channel or your Twitch channel. You gotta get the stream key. I'll show you guys how to do it on YouTube. And um, it's really easy. You gotta go to your live dashboard in Creator Studio and right here, push reveal, copy it, and never show anyone this, guys. This is, uh, if someone gets your stream key, they can stream from their computer onto your account. And you definitely don't want that to happen. So once you have the stream key and everything, go to output. So the output mode, I would, I would keep it at simple. You can make it advanced if you want, but it's not really going to do anything for you. I would make the video bitrate anywhere from 2,500 to 9,000-ish. If you have a really fast computer, I would go closer to 9,000. If you got a slow computer, go somewhere like 3,000, 2,000, something like that. All the bitrate does is make it smoother and make it less pixelized. Then you're going to want to go to your encoder. So for many people, X264 will be there, and other than X264, it could be the NVIDIA or other things like that. So if there is an NVIDIA on your guys' thing, on your guys' encoders, click the NVIDIA. It is much better. It will uh, help you a lot more. But if you have the AMD, AMD is not, um, like, NVIDIA has some cool stuff to do with Streamlabs OBS. They've partnered up and all this stuff to make um, it actually a better thing to use instead of, like, x264 which is also good but I, I use the x264 since my i have an amd and amd is not partnered with 
Dream Labs OBS at the moment. Once they do use it, um, it'll be much easier to stream with AMD, but at the moment, I would go with X264 if you do not have an NVIDIA. If you do have an NVIDIA, use that one. Then you're going to want the audio bitrate to be anywhere from like 192 to 320. I keep it at like 224. It's not, it doesn't, that's not really an important part. So, sorry, go back to the output. So once you have that, you're going to want to, first of all, go to recording and make sure you've got the right, um, right, I guess you could say, folder. So I, I just record to my Amazing Maniac folder. So you just select folder once you click on it and bam, it'll be here. Once you've done that, you can go to recording quality. So I like to keep it at lossless quality. That makes it like the best possible, like everything. There's no gaps, there's no nothing, but you guys can either do it from the same as stream, the high quality or ind indistinguishable, indistinguishable. But I I'd recommend going with um, like indistinguishable. It's got a large file, but like an extremely large file is not really ne necessary unless you're doing Fortnite or games that require a lot of your CPU and um, require it to be pretty perfect. And always have it an MP MP4 um, recording type. So then you guys can go to audio. You're gonna want to set up this to make it so it's. I, I would see, keep it on default. The desktop audio should be default, and then the mic audio here. I would just make that whatever your um, whatever your default is or whatever you're using. I, I use the Yeti, so I'll just put it on Yeti. And make sure everything else is disabled. And once you that, you get video. So this is an important part, guys. If you guys have a like 2K screen like I do, I've got a 2K or a 2560 by 1440. Um, you can either minimize it or you can stream at 2560 by 1440. Either way, you're gonna want to click on whatever you're using. And then the output scale, just make it, if, if you want it to be like 1080p or 1440p, that's what that's going to show up as. And after that, you're going to want to go to downscale filter. I'm definitely going to go with Laxos, guys. It's the best. So make sure to use this. You can use bilinear if you're not um, scaling it, but otherwise, uh, Laxos is really the best one to go. Once you do that, go common FPS. If there's no common FPS, do, um, just, I'm pretty sure there should be common FPS. Just keep it at that. And once you've done that, make sure it's 60 FPS. I would recommend 60 FPS. You can make it 30 FPS. Don't go any other ones. It's just random. 60 or 30 FPS. 60 FPS would be uh, 60 frames per second, so it'll be much smoother. 30 FPS will work, but it's not going to be as smooth. And once you've done that, you don't really have to do any hotkeys. If you want to do hotkeys, you can like start streaming and make F9 or whatever. It's, it doesn't really do anything for you. The advanced part, this is going to matter for you guys. So keep this on normal, guys. Keep this on normal. Make sure this is on 709. It starts at 601. And make sure the UV color range is on full. That will also help you guys um, have a much better streaming like quality and personality and everything like that. Overlays isn't really going to matter for you guys unless you want to import widgets or stuff like that. It's not very um, necessary. Then notifications will just show you if you got like uh, lagged frame rates or anything like that. The appearance and remote control aren't uh, very important either. So once you've done that, you guys have everything set up. It should look something like this or whatever your guys' overlay is. And then go to my second video that I made in the description on how to use your, if you guys want a green screen in your face cam. It's pretty easy. It takes like 5-10 minutes. Okay, so once you've done that, you guys are going to want to set up your widgets. You guys can see the widgets right here. This is what I've set up so far. So when someone subscribes, Amazing Maniac just subscribed will show up. Or if someone sponsors, you guys can see this will show up or something like that. So let me show you guys how to do that. So you want to go to Internet. You're going to go to Streamlabs. So just look up Streamlabs and then push Login with YouTube or Login with Twitch, whichever one you have. Just log in, allow whatever it needs. And then once you're here, then you can go down and go to widgets. So go to alert box. So once you've gone to alert box, you're just want you're just gonna want to like change the general settings. So go here to donations and you can just change the name. You can just to message template. I would keep that the same. You can just change the image. So just push change media. You can go through all these files or you can download a um a GIF, so anything dot GIF will probably work. You can just import that into this, and it should work. You guys can see this is really retarded, but you, you guys know what I mean. 
and Streamlabs will also help you with all this. It'll tell you how many subs you have per day. Okay, that's really embarrassing. Um, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. It'll tell you all the subs you gained and all that stuff. All the stuff will show up here as well. Every like recent information and all that. And that, that's pretty much all you guys need to know. Anytime you need to add anything, just go to sources and just push plus. Everything is really going to be right here. So if you guys want to... Uh, if you guys want to leave a like on this video, that would really mean a lot, guys. If you guys have any questions, make sure to tell me in the comments below. And um, if you guys need an update video, I will make sure to make one in a little bit. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, guys. Peace out.